Hey guys, it's me Miranda, and today I'm very excited to do the tiny mouth challenge. Um, this is, I think is gonna be a really good challenge for me because I obviously do not have a tiny mouth, so to force myself to look like I have one will be very challenging. Um, I actually saw a lot of people doing this on TikTok. I saw a couple women do it on Instagram, and I even just saw Jenna Marbles do it on her YouTube, so I figure I'll, I might as well try. I'm the queen of lips, and so obviously it makes sense for me to do this challenge. It's funny, back in the day, everyone wanted to look like me, wanted to look like Kylie Jenner and myself, and they all tried to have bigger lips. Now everyone's trying to have smaller lips, smaller facial features. Used to be bigger is better, now it's tiny as the teens. So I am very excited to try and downgrade to the tiny lip challenge. So let's get started. Now obviously I have my incredible James Charles brush palette set. There are a lot of brushes to choose from. I think the first thing we have to do is contour the nose. So I'm gonna get a contour brush. into your palette. Um, usually I would use the James Charles one, but this one is just as good. I've had it for about 11 years and it's still kicking. So you're gonna dip it into the brown shade. This brown shade is probably called um, brown. So that's what I'm gonna do. So just dip it in there. And then you're gonna contour the nostrils. Like so. Very nice. Um, so after we contour it, you brush it in. I always see the beauty girls do that. So now we need to draw on the nose. So before we draw on the mouth, we have to draw on the nose. So luckily I have this pencil, Marc Jacobs. All right, I'm just gonna be using my cellular device as a mirror. So I need to draw on a nose, okay? So. Yeah, that looks like a little nose. So you're just gonna shade it in. Basically when you're drawing your nose, it's like a little peanut with a trunk. There we go, so you put on the nostrils. It's looking pretty good so far. We also want to exaggerate everything else. Since we're gonna have the small nose and the small lips, we need to make the eyeballs look bigger, brighter, ready for the day. So I'm gonna just give myself some eye latches. It might be easier to do this with um, not this freaking steak. I'm just giving myself some bigger eye latches here. Eye latch, eye latch, eye latch. Ow! Make sure you don't poke your own eyeballs. You never want to get eye latch in your eyeball. All right, I just want you guys to get a close up of this so you can really see how the nose looks, okay? So you have to do the contours. So this is how you do the contours. You just blend it in and stretch it up. Blend it in, stretch it up. And the eye latches look like these, okay? So that's how to get the eye latches and the nose. So far, we are looking good. Now the next thing before you wanna do the rest, the lips and such, you have to make sure you have an outfit that covers your mouth. I think that's like one of the most crucial parts. That's why I wore my turtleneck can't sweater today. Um, please stop telling me when I wear this that I look like Carol Bike Skeins because I invented this style. And as usual, people are trying to copy my style, including Carol Bike Skeins. I've been wearing tiger prints and kitty kites for way longer than Carol Bike Skeins even been alive. Since before her husband could say, no, please don't do it, I have been wearing cat things. I have cat sweaters, I have kitty cat fur type things like this, I collect cat hair. So no, I'm not copying Carol Bike Skeins. Carol Bike Skeins is copying me, cool cats and kittens. Don't even get me started. I'm so sick of that. Every time I wear this, people are like, oh, Carol Bike Skeins, Carol Bike Skeins. Like, no, I freaking invented this, not Carol Bike Skeins. But anyways, it zips up. So when I'm ready to be my little mouth, it'll be up and ready to go. It's time to do the mouth. So I'm using my own lipstick today. You can get it at MirandaSingsLipstick.com if you want to match my lips. I highly recommend my lipstick because it's really good quality and also it gives me money. So please get it. Alright, so we're just gonna try to find a little brunch. Is there any freaking small branches? Alright, so for the next brush in my palette, I will be using this is a really nice Morphe 799824272 brush. So you're gonna wanna make the lips all across your nose and nostrils. So here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So first you're going to want to put it on your nose like so and just kind of cover the whole nostril area. Oh, this feels nice. I always 
always wanted to bring my lipstick up this high, but I never thought I'd be able to. So this is actually really fun for me. I just gotta get it up in the nostrils as well. So basically you're gonna like think like how a clown looks, but we're gonna make it fashion, but we're gonna make it couture. So now we've got our red lips on. So before we do anything else, we're going to have to do some more shadowing. So use your Morphe 7298344417 brush. And you're just gonna do a little bit of shadowing here. So you know how people have this like little line. Dang it, it's freaking smudging. But you know what I'm freaking talking about? That like, they have this like thing here. Oh, that's really dark. Freaking kidding me, it looks like I have freaking chocolate turned on my freaking nose. No, oh, it's spreading. It's not going well. Okay, let me try it again. Dang it, how do people do it so it looks subtle? I think I might have done it good. All right, anyways, let's try this again. It's not working. So now I'm putting on my leaves, like so. Oh, my nose keeps itching really bad. Dang it! How itchy is, why is it itch? All right, so now basically I need to outline my lips so that you can really see them better. So I need to find a thin paint brush. Okay, so it's really freaking itchy, so I need to hurry up. But I found a paintbrush. This is Craft Smart, if you can see. This is Craft Smart Morphe 1242. So this is a really good brush for proceeding. Lick it. And then you dip it in the black shade, this one. So dip it in that. And then you're gonna outline your nostrils. Or I mean your lipsticks. the cake. It's looking more lippy than ever. Wow, this is looking pretty good. Now you want to do the line of the lips. So you just do it right along here. Like that. See? So now it looks like a lips. And so now you're ready for the final reveal. I'm going to pull my hair down because I feel like my lady is a sassy woman. I'm even going to give her a ponytail, which I never normally would do. But I'm feeling a little frisky today. Alright, get ready for the reveal. You guys, this is gorgeous. I think I can even make it look like I'm talking more if I just add a little bit more on oh, itches. Uh, if I add a little bit more um, of the black color underneath my nose here, I feel like I can really make it look like I'm talking. If I just paint right in here, so if you want to do this technique, just paint inside the holes like so. Really get in there. So now I can sing like this. Like, <laughs> This is incredible, guys. I honestly feel like I've never looked better. Mm. 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 My breath sings. I am a fancy woman. You guys, this is really exciting. I didn't think it would look this good. I am just very impressed with how incredible this looks. I feel like I'm ready to go model and show the world this new look. Cause my lips are still big. They're just not as big as they were. Like, how good do I look? I can do a shock face. <gasps> I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm angry. I can do literally every facial expression with these lips. This is a great, actually, oh, I just thought of something amazing. This is actually perfect for a Corona um, because you're supposed to wear a mix. So now my nose is covered, so I can go out in public, and my mouth is covered, so I won't eat the Coronas, so I can go out and about. This is a great way. If you don't have a mix, do this. This is a great solution if you don't have a mix for a Coronas. I really like it. I hope you guys do too. Now it's time for the model show, so. Slow-mo with sexy music, and go. Wow, 
This has been one of the best days of my life. Um, this has been really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this tiny mouth challenge. If you did, please subscribe to this channel. Um, make sure to follow me on my TikTok and Twitter, Instagram, all types of things to get. <gasps> oh! Hold on, I don't want you to catch. <clears throat> <clears throat> So anyways, make sure to subscribe to all my places um, and make sure to click the like button. Leave a comment right now. I triple dare you to leave a comment right now telling me what video you wanna see me do next. This was really, really fun and I hope to do more makeup challenges like this in the future because honestly, I'm really loving makeup these days and I feel like this was really fun. Maybe the next time I do an eyeball on my nose so it looks like I have three eyeballs. What do you think of that? Um, yeah, anyways, I love this look. I think I'll be wearing it out pretty often. It's pretty sexy. And yeah. <gasps> what do I eat? <laughs> it tastes so chunky. So thanks for watching, everybody. I love you, and I'll see you next time.